and the readings will now be given by Amanda from Missouri. The Bible. Leviticus. I am the Lord your God. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Ye shall keep my statutes. First Chronicles Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our Father, for ever and ever. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might, and in thine hand it is to make great, and to give strength unto all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. Psalms Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, Neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. First John And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Hebrews Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. Matthew And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. My house shall be called the house of prayer. Act. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you, first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, or to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. Wherefore, brethren, we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the Word. I will now read correlative passages from Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures and Prose Works, all from Mary Baker Eddy. The prayer that reforms the sinner and heals the sick is an absolute faith that all things are possible to God, a spiritual understanding of Him, an unself love. The test of all prayer lies in the answer to these two questions. Do we love our neighbor better because of this asking? Do we pursue the old selfishness, satisfied with having prayed for something better, though we give no evidence of the sincerity of our requests by living consistently with our prayer. There is a cross to be taken up before we can enjoy the fruition of our hope and faith. Our Master taught His disciples one brief prayer, which we name after Him, the Lord's Prayer. Our Master said, After this manner, therefore pray ye, and then he gave the prayer which covers all human needs. Here let me give what I understand to be the spiritual sense of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother, God, all harmonious, adorable one, thy kingdom is come. Thou art ever present. Enable us to know, as in heaven so on earth, God is omnipotent, supreme. Give us grace for today. Feed the famished affections. And love is reflected in love. And God leadeth us not into temptation, but delivereth us from sin, disease, and death. For God is infinite, all power, all life, truth, love, over all and all. The Lord's Prayer, understood in its spiritual sense and given its spiritual version, 
can never be repeated too often for the benefit of all who, having ears, hear and understand. In divine science all belongs to God, for God is all, hence the propriety of giving unto his holy name due deference, the capitalization which distinguishes it from all other names, thus obeying the leading of our Lord's prayer. The coming of Christ's kingdom on earth begins in the minds of men by honoring God and sacredly holding his name apart from the names of that which he creates. Hallow his name, even as you value his all power, all presence, all science, and depend on him for your existence. God is our father and our mother, our minister and the great physician. He is man's only real relative on earth and in heaven. David sang, Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. Brother, sister, beloved in the Lord, knowest thou thyself, and art thou acquainted with God? If not, I pray thee as a Christian scientist, delay not to make him thy first acquaintance. Glorious things are spoken of you in his word. Ye are a chosen people whose God is, what? Even all. Metaphysical science teaches us that there is no other life, substance, and intelligence but God. How much are you demonstrating of this statement? Shall we repeat our Lord's prayer when the heart denies it, refuses to bear the cross and to fulfill the conditions of our petition? Human policy is a fool that saith in his heart, No God, a caressing Judas that betrays you and commits suicide. This godless policy never knows what happiness is and how it is obtained. In the desolation of human understanding, divine love hears and answers the human call for help, and the voice of truth utters the divine verities of being which deliver mortals out of the depths of ignorance and vice. It is the purpose of divine love to resurrect the understanding and the kingdom of God the reign of harmony already within us. Through the word that is spoken unto you, are you made free. Abide in his word, and it shall abide in you. And the healing Christ will again be made manifest in the flesh, understood and glorified. Honor thy father and mother, God. Continue in his love. Bring forth fruit, signs following, that your prayers be not hindered. Pray without ceasing, watch diligently, never desert the post of spiritual observation and self-examination. Strive for self-abnegation, justice, meekness, mercy, purity, love. Let your light reflect light. Have no ambition, affection, nor aim apart from holiness. Forget not for a moment that God is all in all. The unity of God and man is not the dream of a heated brain. It is the spirit of the healing Christ that dwelt forever in the bosom of the Father and should abide forever in man. Christian scientists are really united to only that which is Christ-like, but they are not indifferent to the welfare of anyone. To perpetuate a cold distance between our denomination and other sects and close the door on church or individuals, however much this is done to us, is not Christian science. Our unity with churches of other denominations must rest on the Spirit of Christ calling us together. It cannot come 
from any other source. All Christian churches have one bond of unity, one nucleus or point of convergence, one prayer, the Lord's Prayer. It is matter for rejoicing that we unite in love and in this sacred petition with every praying assembly on earth, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> 